My turn. Hey, that's my bike. Bullies can be found just about everywhere. Bullies are people, like little monsters, who like to tease or hurt others. What can you do when a bully tries to pick on you? Do you know how to make a bully stop picking on you? Well, there are lots of things you can do to tell a bully, stop picking on me. So what do you do when a bully won't stop picking on you? Hey, that's mine! Give it back! Give it back! That's something Andrew learned. Every day at recess, Andrew would get picked on by Tony. You see, Tony was a bully. Hey, give me the ball back! No, I want the ball. What are you going to do about it? It's important to know that bullies enjoy seeing the kids they pick on get angry and upset and cry. Like all bullies, Tony enjoyed seeing Andrew get upset. It's a shame Andrew didn't know that, because the more upset Andrew got, the more Tony teased him. One day, while in the boys' room, Tony played a mean trick on Andrew. Tony threw water on Andrew's pants. Ha ha, you need a diaper. I want to tell everybody what your pants. Andrew was so angry that he pushed Tony. Tony pushed him back. They began to fight. They both got hurt. Tony had a black eye and Andrew had a bloody nose. Both of them were also punished. Tony didn't mind because he was happy to see Andrew get so angry and so upset. What else do you think Andrew could have done? Well, what if Andrew just ignored Tony and pretended that his teasing and bullying didn't bother him and just walked away? Let's see how that could work. Ha ha, you need a diaper. I want to tell everybody what your pants. Ignoring and walking away is a good and safe way to handle a bully. If a bully picks on you, ignore the bully. Don't fight. Then walk away. When you walk away, the bully can't pick on you anymore. Now, here are some questions to think about. Have you ever been bullied? What happened? What did you do? Explain how ignoring a bully can help make the bullying stop. Why can fighting a bully be dangerous? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Some people call names to be hurtful and mean. We've learned that ignoring a bully and walking away are two ways you can deal with a bully. But sometimes you have to stand up for yourself. Now, that doesn't mean fighting. How do you stand up for yourself? That's something Kelsey learned in school. You see, Kelsey and several of her classmates were asked to work together to help put up a new bulletin board about the four seasons. Kelsey was having fun until Susan began to pick on her. The flowers you made look stupid. All the stuff you made look stupid. What could Kelsey do? 
She couldn't ignore Susan or walk away because she had to work on the bulletin board. I like it, but I like it. Michelle, do you like it? See, no one likes it. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. Boo hoo. Kelsey's gonna cry. <laughs> Kelsey was getting more and more upset. She even began to get tears in her eyes. Like all bullies, Susan was happy to see Kelsey get so upset. And the other kids were making things worse by laughing. Kelsey was hurt and angry that Susan was picking on her. She didn't hit or fight Susan, and that's a good thing. What could Kelsey do to stand up to Susan? Well, she could use her words. She could say, stop teasing me, or stop saying mean things. Kelsey needs to use her words to tell Susan to stop. Let's see how Kelsey can stand up to Susan by using her words. The flowers you made look stupid. All the stuff you made look stupid. But I like it. But I like it. Michelle, do you like it? See, no one likes it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it, so stop teasing me. What are you gonna do? Listen, Susan, I want you to stop making fun of me. We have to finish the bulletin board, so let's get to work. Okay, okay. Kelsey was able to stand up to Susan by using her words and telling Susan to stop teasing her. And she said the words with confidence. Kelsey learned how to handle a bully. You can too. Don't let a bully push you around. Stand up for yourself. Use your words. Speak with confidence. Now, here are some questions to think about. Why is it important to be confident when you talk to a bully? Did you ever stand up to a bully? What did you say? What happened? Some people like to push people around and make them feel bad about themselves. Whoa! Sally knew a bully like that. Ellen would always pull Sally's hair to bully her. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. Ugly shirt. Stop making fun of my shirt. Stop making fun of my shirt. <sighs> you know what? Stop it. Stop being such a baby. I said stop it. Get lost. I can't stand this. She's always picking on me. She always teases me too. Me too. We should probably go talk to her. Let's go. Ellen, we want to talk to you. Sure. We want you to stop picking on us. Yeah. I was just having fun. Well, it wasn't fun to us. I was just kidding. And we want you to stop. Yeah, stop. Okay, okay. Working together, Jen, Rachel, and Sally did what one person couldn't do. The girls learned how they could handle a bully in a safe way. You can too. Stand up to bullies together. Use your words. Don't fight. Now, here are some questions to think about. What is the danger in standing up to a bully by yourself? Explain. Tell why a bully is more likely to listen to a group of people. Sometimes bullies can be bigger than you. Hey, you popped my ball! What can you do to stay safe? That's what Elliot learned. When a bully wants something you have, and the bully is bigger or older than you are, what should you do? 
Elliot was playing at the park with his new helicopter toy. When he wasn't looking, Adam took the helicopter right out of his hands. What could happen if Elliot tried to take the helicopter away from Adam? Let's see. It'll let me try it, right? No, it's mine! What are you gonna do about it? I told you I'm gonna try it. That wasn't a good thing to do. What should Elliot do? The most important thing is that Elliot keep himself safe. In this situation, standing up to the bully is too dangerous. He could also try walking away from the bully. Let's see how that might work. What are you gonna do about it? It's right, you better run, you little baby. Elliot didn't want to let Adam play with his helicopter, but standing up to Adam was too dangerous. What should Elliot do? He should ask for help. When a bully wants something you have, and the bully is bigger or older than you are, the most important thing to do is to stay away from danger. Keep yourself safe. Ask for help from a grown-up you know and trust. Let the grown-up deal with the bully. To keep yourself safe, don't fight for the thing he wants. Protect yourself first. Ask a grown-up for help. Don't fight. Protect yourself. Ask for help. Now, here are some questions to think about. Has a bully ever taken something away from you? What did you do? What happened? So let's review what we learned. First, never pick a fight with someone who is picking on you. It's safer to just ignore the bully and walk away. You can use your words too. Tell the teaser how you feel and that you want them to stop. Say it with confidence. You can also work together with others to stand up to the bully and tell them to stop. And remember, you can always ask a grown-up you trust for help. Now you know lots of ways to say, stop picking up.